Hey guys, it's May May and I'm by myself this week because I want to introduce you to something and I want to ask you if you would like to do this um, sort of as a um, kind of a group project, but not exactly. Um, let me show you what it is and then tell you what I have in mind. Okay, so some of you may remember we did a study on Ephesians from the website called Stone Soup for Five, which I have open here on my desktop for you guys to see. Um, this is Carrie Dinker's website and she has, here's Carrie right here in this picture. She has the most amazing resources for you guys from Bible studies to, let me look at her list here, um, meditations, doodles, cause she does some doodling too, which is really cute, but she also has something called a prayer binder. Now I've been praying about this prayer binder because, um, full disclosure, here's what typically happens. Because my channel has turned into the way it is, the way things go, most of the time, whenever I put a video out there, um, people want whatever I'm using in the video. So we try to stock it in our store. And as many of you guys know, um, I hope you all realize this, my Sunday videos and my Hide His Word of My Heart Facebook group are not about um, profit at all. Like that's not what I use those for. So that's a little awkward for me. And so there's a couple questions I want to ask, but let's start, we'll start with question number one. Question number one is, would you like to sort of follow along with me as I build my prayer journal? I really, really, really am impressed. Or I should say prayer binder. I'm really impressed by what Carrie is encouraging people to do here and how she's kind of laid out this um, system for us to look at. So um, if you go to Carrie's site, which is Stone Soup for Five, um, and you can, well, let me tell you, this is how you do it. It's stone soup four and spell out the number five.com. If you click on prayer binder, you'll see here that she has four steps to create your personal prayer binder. Um, step one, step two, step three, and step four. And all of this stuff she provides for you free. I've gone on here and looked. She even has a video here. It's not her doing the video, but um, she has um, Dawn and I don't, I'm not familiar with Dawn, but she has Dawn doing a flip through of her prayer binder. And I'm really interested in doing this project. And I know a lot of times you guys want to do these kind of things with me. So the first question number one is this. Are you interested in doing a prayer binder with me? Would you enjoy that? Um, do you think it's something that would benefit you in your prayer life? I feel like it might make mine be less cluttery. Like I find sometimes I just start talking and, and ramble and I would really like to know that I'm, you know, covering good topics with God that we need to talk about. I think this will help. Um... Number two, would you enjoy it? And I think it would be pretty enjoyable. Would you enjoy it if I did this once a month on YouTube? And here's what I mean by that. Of course, I would use my prayer binder every day, but I don't really see a need to come back every week and discuss the prayer binder with you. But maybe once a month to kind of show you how I'm using it, how it's working, make some suggestions, some changes, things like that. Um, and then we might even... I say this, we might even do that on Facebook. I don't really know about the Facebook. The reason I don't know about Facebook is this. Most of you I find don't have a Facebook. Like so many of you don't have Facebook. And so many times you'll tell me you feel left out when I do Bible studies that you can't do over on Facebook. And I've really kind of transitioned away from the Facebook page for those sort of things because I don't want the majority of my viewers to miss what we're doing. Although over there we have an incredible prayer uh, a prayer request situation going on that's incredible. And I thought these two things would blend us together, having the prayer journal that we talked about over on Facebook more on more of a weekly basis and having it where we talk about it here once a month. And I know this is a terrible way to do it. I know jumping in on our Sunday video and asking you this is a terrible way. I apologize. But it's really the only way I know to talk to those of you who I think would really be interested in this and to get your feedback on it. Okay, so question number one is, would you be interested in starting a prayer binder with me? Uh, would you be interested in seeing it from me once a month on YouTube where we kind of revisit it um, on Sunday on our Sunday video once a month? Um, and, and the third question is, would you want me to carry the products I decide to use in my store so you can get them? Now, I know most of you are going to say, no, I can go pick those items up myself. And you surely can. I'm sure I'll be using things like binders and cardstock and um, 
tab dividers, many things I'll make on my own. But the reason I ask is I know several of you, many of our viewers are not in the US or they're not right here where they can get the same kind of supplies we can. And some of you guys are like me and you live where there's not resources within an hour, two hours away from you. And so I want to ask you if you're interested in me having that for you guys to be able to get. It's not... It is not a requirement. You do not have to purchase a thing from me. It is not about that. I just want to know if you'd be interested because I have found um, some really cool binders and things like that that I think would be fun and we could have for a long period of time and use for a long period of time. But that is not the point of this. I just want to know if you'd be interested in that because if you're not, then I'm just going to make this up as I go and you guys will just make your own up as you go. But I have found a lot of times you guys like to have what I'm using and I totally get that because I'm the same person. I like to have what I see other people use. Um, the thing about this situation for us, of course I will not come back and discuss with you what I'm praying about necessarily. So I don't know how much of my binder you would actually get to view but I would be able to talk to you once a month about how it's working for me, what I'm doing, how I'm setting up my daily prayer time, how, um, how my relation, you know, I could, I could kind of talk to you about here's what I'm doing. Here's how this is working for me. And then in, in the comments of those videos, you guys will be able to talk about it too. So we could go on a prayer journey together. I believe prayer works. I believe in prayer. I believe it works. I believe that um, our country needs more prayer. And I want to, and this is kind of where this came from. I want to say this, and this is, I might get on my soapbox a little bit. I probably won't, but I might. Um, I read the other day, we had a, a horrific shooting um, in Texas, you guys remember, and it was on my Facebook feed. I was reading the news article. And for some reason, I'm always compelled to read the comments and I shouldn't because it always affects me, right? And I rolled down to read the comments and someone said, well, for all of you praying folks out there, y'all can stop because it's clearly not working. And I remember thinking, first off, it takes me back to 1 Corinthians 2.14, where I understand that the ways of God, the ways of the Spirit are folly to those who don't understand. I get that. If you, if the Holy Spirit doesn't live in you, then the things of the Holy Spirit make no sense to you. And I get that, okay? But it made me think this. You have no idea how many terrible crimes and illnesses and bad situations our prayers have stopped. We have no idea. We have no way of knowing what we have stopped through prayer. And I just think it's important that we get our prayer lives working like they should be. I will tell you, mine is not where I want it to be. I don't know that it ever will be, but it's not where I want it to be. And I think this would be such a good opportunity for us to work together and get that done. So I'm asking you to forgive me for taking our Sunday video for this. I know that you guys enjoy um, our regular Sunday um, programming, for lack of a better word. But I really want to talk to you about this and see if you're interested. Um, you can either put in the comment, you can answer the three questions in the comments below, which are, number one, are you interested in doing a prayer binder with me? Number two, how do you feel about being a once a month video on my Sunday to show you where we're at and how it's progressing? And number three, do you want me to bring in the supplies I'm using so you can purchase them so you can have the same thing? Um, if you'll answer those in the comments below, it'll help me to gauge what we're working with. Let me know in the comments below. Thank y'all so much for being here. And just remember, prayer works. And if today you're struggling with something, just go to God with it. Um, one of my favorite sayings I heard not too long ago that I've really taken to heart is this. If you're going to pray about it, don't worry about it. And if you're going to worry about it, don't pray about it. And I've really taken that to heart. And I hope that you guys can do that too. And I think this would be a great opportunity for us. And who knows, maybe maybe some of you have never tried a prayer journal. This might be fun. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to set a time limit for it. I'm not going to say we'll do it for a year. I'm not going to say do it. we're going to do it for what feels right. I'm going to let God lead us. And this has been on my mind for weeks, all, probably months. I even mentioned it a long time ago when we did the Ephesians study. And so I know this is something that is good for us, that is a, a good spiritual habit to get into and would spiritually help us in our, and even in, um, even, uh, what's the word, um, cultivate our relationship with God. It would even help to help us be more, um, vocal with him every day. So let me know. Thank y'all for letting me to take, take today's video to ask this question. And um, I just look forward to hearing what you have to say. I love you guys very much. I hope you have a blessed weekend and I will talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.